It's just so random. Fingers crossed, but time will tell if we both poop our pants tonight. 3.31 a.m. This is the life we lead it. Really, I can't really move. What a cool story, like they didn't know. It doesn't make sense. So cool. Am I drawing attention to myself? <laughs> Guys, we're going to Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. We're in a, a new hotel. Uh, let me get some light. It's funny how as our budget shrinks, so do our hotel rooms. This one says that it's got a city view. Let's pack our bags and then we'll go get some coffee. On to the next place, I suppose. Let's go. Look at that swell. This is some sexy almond milk. <laughs> Alright, partners. Oh yeah. So we wanted to go to an island or like see some more rural Thailand, but we decided that it probably wasn't a good idea considering we're flying out to Japan in a few days time. Plus we'd only be spending a few days there and South Thailand and North Thailand looks epic. So I think it needs more time. So now we are in Chinatown. So it's meant to be pretty cool. <laughs> you look but, so small. Yeah, so now we're... <laughs> Is that better? Aww. <laughs> now we're in Chinatown, so we're gonna go explore. I've made yeah. a, I've, sheesh, I've dropped some pins on my maps to like go check some stuff out, so let's go. Let's go Chinatown, baby. Yeah. Trying to get this one out of the out of the flat in the morning is quite difficult. Oh guys, if you knew me when I was a teacher in London, I swear on my life, I don't know how I functioned every morning. The van was even worse, wasn't it? <laughs> yes it was. <sighs> let's go. <laughs> yeah, whenever I was looking up about things to do in Chinatown, it said street markets, and I was like, which streets are it on? It doesn't tell me. And now I've realized it's literally all the streets. It's literally all like this, and it's friggin' cool. It's manic. Yeah, it's <laughs> chaos, but like cool chaos. Honestly, I'd love to get a little like retro vintage bike and zoom about everywhere. You would have crashed that thing in your first two minutes. Excuse me, I rode a motorbike around Laos and I was pretty good at it. Thanks. <laughs> I'd heard that this place was really beautiful and on the waterfront uh, and then we came and realized that an Americano for one Americano was £3.34. So we've ordered one Americano between the both of us and I have to say, this is pretty beautiful. You can come and enjoy this view, and it's a really nice setting. The building's cool, loads of plants, really good vibes. Live music by the sounds of it at some point. It's cool. Very serene. You get to like sit out of the hustle and bustle for mm. a moment? That's worth £3.34. I'm not gonna lie, I might have spilled a bit, okay? That's a pound you just wasted. I thought you got a cappuccino. Are you joking? A cappuccino was about eight pound. <laughs> Healing, do you know the way a cup comes on a saucer? Oh, right, okay. You know, it's to not leave rings and stuff. Okay, boss man. Educate me to be a human. I don't think that's possible. Okay, guys. It's not often I get a full, full-length mirror. I've just seen myself. And I have to say, I don't know why Philly let me out in these socks. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Look at that. This is Keely and, and oh look your cameraman's here too. That's nice you brought your cameraman out. Oh my gorgeous cameraman. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty badass. Yeah, I caught the springs we're done. Are we gonna go get a curry puff? 
Yeah? You can get curry puff if you want. Okay, I've heard about these infamous Thai curry puffs that you can get in Chinatown here. Okay, we got some curry puffs. I'm just really hoping that the pastry's vegan. But pastry should be flour, water, salt, etc. So fingers crossed, but time will tell if we both poop our pants tonight. Yeah? Uh, we technically didn't get the curry puff one. We got like sweet potato, but I thought it would be safe. And it tastes lovely. It's very sweet, isn't it? It's gorgeous. This is good. All right, team. We came back, we have had a siesta, we have rejuvenated ourselves. No, we <laughs> that one can at me. No, we need to go get some food, right? Hey. Yeah. We're in Bangkok. Yeah, baby. I just got all excited there because I was like, it's cool because even though it's nighttime, everything's really well lit and there's all these street markets and it's just cool. What's up? Yeah. We've came to a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> We're just prepping ourselves, prepping our guts, you know. For Japan, actually, all of this milk free, egg free, meat free, seafood free. No, no, no. I'm excited. Oh my goodness, look at that converter. <laughs> I just can't cope with this, this all looks so bloody good. You're up. How the heck is this not a real shrimp? I'm scared. Okay, so it's definitely a vegetable. Okay. I'm so excited about all this food. And the portions are massive. Yeah. Billy, I can't really move. I <laughs> know, you look like you were... Uh... I was just struggling to like sit up. I don't know if I can walk right now. That's all. That's all, folks. It's just so random. I just love it. I'm so happy to be here. Very different in the UK, very different in Europe. Just... Very humid, I see. I ignore my frizz, but... It feels so good to be here. Glad we've got you guys with us. I'm glad to be with you too. Ah, thanks honey. Mm. Let's keep exploring. Oh my word, that meow. For those of you that don't know, we still work on the road. For all those times that you see us out walking the streets, enjoying ourselves, doing these really cool things, catching flights, doing, you know. The other side of the coin is that we're just always sitting in a van or a hotel room, banging away on our laptops. Yeah. Keely, she does math tuition. It's currently five past one mm. in the morning. Guys, do you know when I'm in Tokyo? I'm going to be tutoring at 4.30 a.m. That's brutal, isn't it? Yeah, let us know if you would do that. She's absolutely crazy. She's a champion. It's for all the people that say we don't work, eh? Yeah, this, this, this is for you, you know. Making me a cup of tea? I'll make you a cup of tea. One cup of tea. I don't know why it's up there, but it is. Oops. Thanks. Thank you for being awesome. Oh, thanks, honey. You're awesome, tea. <laughs> there it is. 3.31am. This is the, this is the life we lead, eh? <laughs> That's also what happens at this time of the morning. <laughs> My eyes are hanging over. I'm so tired. Shall we go to sleep? Yeah. See you tomorrow for some more shenanigans. <laughs> Did you find that funny? Transition. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to see the Golden Buddha, guys. We came to check it out yesterday, but I had shorts on. So I've come back full length dress now. I see you're still... What are these? I'm still wearing the same socks. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But we're going to go check it out. I'm excited. It's got a cool backstory, so we'll talk about that when we're inside. Yeah! Cup and cup. Okay. Yeah. You can come in and like walk around the grounds and stuff for free, but if you want to get in and see this guy, the big Golden Buddha, you have to pay 40 bats. Philly, there's a cat around my feet. Hi, Philly. Hi. So in the 1500s, they tried to move it. It was this big plaster Buddha situation, but when they were moving it, one person dropped it and the corner of it cracked off the plaster and revealed a golden statue underneath, which they had no idea about. 
and then whenever they've revealed it, it's literally all gold. What a cool story, like they didn't know that it was plaster and then they moved it and then it was gold and it's like, oh. That is pretty cool. What a cool story. But this guy's cooler. Yeah. Hey friend, is it dead? <laughs> oh, you're just having such a good time. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, bye bye, kitty. ornate looking and luxurious and so beautiful. What a gorgeous building. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. Guys, I also read that the Golden Buddha is worth 28.5 million. That's so much money. It's pure gold. It's the biggest pure gold Buddha in maybe the world, but at least Thailand. I think it was the world. So I'm excited to go see it. Let's go. We think it's in here. That thing is solid gold. Big, shiny, solid gold. Like, that's all solid gold. That doesn't make sense. So, you're not allowed to film when you're inside there. You're only allowed to take photos. So, we took a load of photos to show you guys because it's just gorgeous. I just can't fathom that it is solid, pure gold. I can't believe that it was in a plaster. Yeah, and that they didn't know. For how long? Oh, I don't remember how long, but it's, it's over 700 years old. And it, it took them dropping it and to chipping realize. off some plaster to realise that there's a solid gold. Yeah, apparently it was covered in plaster to protect it from people that were invading Thailand at the time when it was done. Guys, it's so beautiful. I friggin' love this. I do, it's This so is cool. such, like, these kind of stories and this kind of, I don't know, culture is, is really... It's just cool, It man. is cool. So yeah, that was super, super beautiful. Only 40 baht. So, oh my, that's not even, you, you have to come see this. Oh, that was so gorgeous. I'm so glad we came here. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, mm. food. We just had food. <laughs> Dessert. <laughs> now you're talking. I find it so surreal seeing monks with phones and like taking <laughs> pictures of things. And I know that's really stupid because they're people as well. But I don't know, it's just not the same like, the perception that it's I had like of them in my head. It's fourth wall or it something. Is, it really you know? is. It it's, is quite funny. It's cool to see monks impressed by this and coming and taking photos of it, isn't it? But it's raining. Let's go get some chocolate ice cream. It's gotta protect the camera from the rain and get some sugar in these veins. That kind of rhymed. Camera from the rain gets sugar in my vein. Yeah. Yo yo. <laughs> Kill me. This room is very deceiving because it's got blackout curtains and very frosted glass. Shouldn't the city be? This is our city view. Gorgeous. Need to make coffee. Coffee. <laughs> All right, fam. Today is the day. Kili, today is the day we'll be waiting for. Okay. Are you not like Kili? We're we're flying to Tokyo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's that's later today. Yeah, there's a couple of things that we want to do before we gotta go. But our flight is in like pretty much 24 hours from now. We're checking out this hotel room. This is the last hotel we're gonna be in 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 Bangkok. This is the last time we have to pack our stuff for a long time as well. And that's one thing I'm really excited about because it's a bit of a pain in the ass um, having to like unpack everything for like two or three days and then pack everything up again. This is the difference between me and Keely. Yeah. So this is me, this is my packing cube. This is Keely's packing cube. Gorgeous. Yeah. All right team, I think we're done. I think it's time to go. It's time to hit the last few spots that we want to hit in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. And then we come back here, grab our bags and hit the airport. Yeah. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do this! So today we are going to a floating market which is something we've wanted to do since we got to Bangkok. There are a couple of really big ones that are like 100 and 120 kilometers outside of the city but because we're meant to be heading to the airport to Japan tonight we obviously don't have time to travel 100 kilometers to go see one. There is one that's 12 kilometers on the periphery of Bangkok so we're going to catch a bus, go check it out. It's smaller, it's quieter but it's still an experience.
Okay, so a taxi ride from Chinatown to here was about three pounds for like a 20 minute taxi ride, so. Yeah, 130 baht. I wasn't expecting the coffee to be like this cute little stall. Thank you. Honestly, this place is. I re please come, please come. This is so close to Bangkok. Like it's in Bangkok. It's not even a day trip. It's literally like you know a morning trip. This place is awesome. I'm I'm really glad we came. I'm finally getting my coconut. I'm pretty sure I don't like coconut water, but it's just a novelty. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'm all right with that. Both, both start one PM. Yeah. Yeah. If they want to nang balan, then nang 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 yu yu balan nang. Okay, so we're going on, I just thought we were going to go up a couple of meters basically, but we're actually going on a one and a half hour round trip for, with two stop offs, so let's enjoy. Yay! <laughs> Mm. <laughs> on this 100 baht river long thing, it's so 100 cheap. Baht. I know it's so cheap, guys. It's like 2.50 £2. £2. for an hour and a half excursion. Yeah, we get two stops. The first one is this what, and the second one is an orchid, 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 an orchid farm. Why did I say that word? An orchid. Um, basically, guys, I really need to pace. My brain's not working. So, where you go? You know where the river is? Ha ha ha! Let's go. number two and this is an orchid farm and I just think it's crazy how pretty much everything grows in this climate like when we were coming down that river we've seen bananas coconuts mangoes durians pomegranates bamboo tree after tree after tree it's just so green so lush it's so beautiful and now we get to go check out orchids not that I can buy anything but we can go look at them and smell the prettiness and guys I, just, I really love Thailand hi what are you smelling me for? Smelling the prettiness. <laughs> Look at this. That's a dragon fruit plant. Oh my word. Just growing in the wild. Guys, I'm telling you, Thailand grows friggin' everything. It's okay. How is this edible? How is this how does this exist? Definitely, honestly, if you're in Bangkok, please come to, I'm probably gonna say it wrong, Kong, Lao, this market, I'll pop up the name. What an amazing little day trip, an hour and a half up and down. We're gonna miss our boat on the way back, so we better go get it, but, wow, it's just great. All right, guys, we're at the airport. We've made it. We're gonna find somewhere to Plug snuggle in. up for a little bit. Get some coffee. Coffee is definitely on the list. Do some work. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you're doing right now isn't really working. <laughs> Am I drawing attention to myself? <laughs> I need to put the hat somewhere and it won't fit on my hair. Put it that. How's that look? Why do you have sunglasses on in the airport? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? I'm just trying to just, just, just put them here. I'm so cool. Yeah. I do not understand. We did it. Sorry. We're through everything. Everything. 
guys, that was like that the was so easy. The the most chill airport yeah. experience of my life. They're so friendly, guys. <laughs> you missed it, but I forgot about a tub of peanut butter and jam I had in my bag, and the people only were, you. The people were apologising to me as if they felt bad that I couldn't bring my peanut butter and jam, and I was like, no, no, I forgot about it. It's okay. You can put it in the bin. I'm surprised you weren't <laughs> trying to down it before <laughs> you threw it away. Oh, I was one of those people, you know the way you're always like, who forgets they've got liquids? Keely. Me. Of course. Oh my word, here's fancy shops again. Uh, Gucci, Cartier, Chanel. Louis Vuitton. Let's go shopping. Let's go on a shopping spree. <laughs> where's Primark? Where's the Primark? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to Tokyo. <laughs> so far, this has been flawless. Honestly, it's I feel so like I'm dreaming, having a very good good experience right now. Guys, it's got TVs. Remember how Devo I was in the last one? They've came already and confirmed that we have a vegan meal. There's a plug socket that fits our UK charger. Like, I what, think what more good. could you ask for? My cup holder's broken. <laughs> so, it's all about to go tits up. Oh, uh, I'm so happy. Let's get this flight on the road, eh? I can't wait to see what movies they have. I can't believe we actually made it. <laughs> Guys, just the process of getting these tickets was just so much fun. <laughs> Honestly, I love Japan. Please stay tuned yeah. because there's a lot of stuff in the works. Honestly, mm -hmm. be excited guys. We're excited. Yeah. I'm excited for you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> but now, that's the end of Thailand. This is the beginning of Japan. So we will have to leave you guys there. Go find our friends, drop off these bags because both our backs are killing us. And uh, we'll see you guys And get some week. sleep. No, I'm too hyper. I just want to go explore. I'm running fumes. <laughs> Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. And then whenever the the kids are here, they're like, "Can you not even follow?"